I argue that neighborhoods, ecological subsections of cities with social distinctiveness um, exist in, in many, if not all, cities. That is to say, there's a great deal of diversity across ecological areas in cities. The spatial division of cities into districts or neighborhoods is one of the few universals of urban life from the earliest cities to the present. It's a really interesting idea. In other words, it's very general, the notion of division. And it can be relative, it can be on anything. I mean, status, ethnicity, religion. Individuals are constantly making choices. They do have autonomy, They're making choices, but always within the context of structures and neighborhoods. Chicago is, is made up of many diverse uh, neighborhoods, and I argue that they're important, they are manifested in a number of different social phenomena, some of which we often don't put together. And also that neighborhoods are surprisingly persistent over time, persistence despite change. Neighborhoods, organizations are constantly changing, people are moving in and out, but the reproduction of the social status or the social reality is an interesting question. It's not just one thing. Think of it this way. I guess I, the, the principle I would say is inequality is concentrated, inequality is multidimensional. We need durable policies to counteract durable inequality, right? I mean, it's, it's just sort of an obvious point, but it's something that's not really been, I think, well understood. We work with the city, and the idea is uh, to reimagine the city-university connection.